Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to be implementing the create operation. So I will start by changing this here to new. And the idea is we want to be able to click on this new link here and navigate to a form that we are going to create in the create update component. So in order to do that, I will add here a click event. And I'll just call this um, new country. In this method, I'll pass in an event. So I'll save that and implement this method. So I'll just go ahead and copy this. And open up the, the .ts file. And inside here, I'll implement that method. So the event we pass would be of type any and we'll use it to prevent the default action. So event that prevent default. Now in order to navigate to the create update component, we need the router. So I'll import inside here router. from angular router this one then I'll inject it in the constructor so before navigating to the create update component we want to pass in a country object that is set to null which will be assigned to another country object that is bind to the form by so doing an empty form will be displayed so the reason for doing this is that we are also going to be using the same form for the update operation meaning when we pass a country object that is not instantiated to null the form will be pre-populated so in order to achieve this goal i will open up the service class and inside here i'll create a country object this is the object that we are going to be setting and passing around so private country of type country then i'll create a setter and getter method here so i'll just call this setter this will take in a country object And we set this country object to the one we are passing in. Then next, I will create another method called getter, which will return the current country object. So back in this file, before navigating to the form, I will then just go ahead and set that country object to null. So in order to achieve that, I will start by importing the service class here. So import country service. From, we need to go two levels up into the shared folder and access the service class. Then we also need the country object here. So once more import. country and we also need to go two levels up from country then I'll inject the service class here this is of type country service So with this now in place, I'll use the service class to set the country object and then navigate to the create update component. So this dot country service dot setter and I'll just pass in here a new country object. Now after doing this, I'll navigate to the 
create update component. So this dot router dot navigate. And the route here is create update. So back in the browser, if I click on this new link here, it will take me to this create update works, which is the create update component.html file. So inside here, we're going to develop the form. Let's start doing that. I'll just close these files. We're done with this for the time being and open up the create update component.ts file, this one. And then inside here, I will start by also importing the service as well as the user class and the router. So I'll just go ahead and copy whatsoever we had here. This one. And paste it here. Then I'll inject the service and the router in the constructor. So private country service. and also the router so private router so when this component loads i'll create here a variable and assign it to the one we set in the service class so private country of type country and I'll do here this dot country should be equals to the one we set in the service class. This should then be the getter. Now we're going to bind this object to the form. So I'll just start building the form. I'll open up the HTML file here and get rid of this and add here a form tag. And we then need the action method. And in this form, I'm going to start by creating the following fields. So I'll add here a div of class form group. And inside here, I'll add a label for the ID. And next, I'll create an input field here with the name of ID. And we'll bind this to the object as follows. ng model should then be equal to <coughs> excuse me country dot id then i'll add here the bootstrap class of form control this is an error this needs to be here so i'll add here a class of form control this is our bootstrap by the way. So next I'll just go ahead and copy this div and use it for the name as well as the capital. So I'll change this to name name here country dot name and the name here should also be name. And this here, I'll change it to capital. And finally here, I'll add in a button for the submit. So input button, this should be of type submit. And the value here, I'll just call it submit. And I'll give it a bootstrap class of BTN, BTN success. 
now in order for this to work we need to import the forms module so i'll open up the app module.ts file and import here the forms module this should be from angular forms this one we need to add that as an import I'll save this and back in the browser if I click on this new link here we navigate to the form so next let's go ahead and process this form by the way this should be success here and here i'll add an ng submit method this is the method that will process the form when we click on the submit button so ng submit i'll just call this create or update then i'll just go ahead also and implement this method so i'll just copy this and back in the create update component.cs file or implement the method or paste it here and implement the method so all we have to do here is to call the post method from the uh, service class and submit this you this country object so please dot country service dot this should be create country I we need to pass in the country we want to create and this should be the country we have bind to the form next we subscribe to this method and as usual the first thing we return is the country that was created and an error for the error I'll just lock it to the console and for the return country I'll also just lock it to the console now after doing this I'll navigate back to the default route so this dot router dot navigate Um, so we can then just go ahead and test this I'll open up the browser and if I click here on new we navigate to this form then I can try to enter a name here let me just call this test test and submit the form we don't need to enter the ID it will be auto generated in MongoDB so if I submit this form you see we have here test test was created so with that we are basically done with the create operation in the next tutorial we are going to be implementing the update as well as the delete operation until then see you